Welcome back to the Spoonie and Caregiver Life Podcast with me, your host, Jordan Banderas. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes of the podcast. And let's go ahead and get into today's episode, shall we? Now, <clears throat> the spoon theory has typically always represented the chronically ill or people that are facing an invisible illness or, or something like that, right? But who is to say who is chronically ill? The reason why I say this is because I had a profound thought the other day while speaking with a friend of mine, and we got talking about what has happened during the last year. Everyone, of course, has been affected in one way or another. Depression, anxiety, suicide, homelessness, divorce rates, and domestic violence rates have skyrocketed over, over the last year. So it got me even doing more thinking. And when I start thinking, it can go all sorts of places, right? I mean, you have seen it. My mind wanders, which is true. So the reason why I say this is because the other day, this past weekend, actually, I had the opportunity to help the less fortunate. I spend hours upon hours helping the homeless by making sanitation kits for the women's homeless shelter. I had a great time. Helping others is, you're going to feel great. I absolutely had a great time because while I was doing it, the whole time, it got me to thinking. And I was like, at some point, somewhere along the way, Something happened to each one of these people that are living on the streets. It could have been sickness, mental illness, loss of a job, a bad marriage, and even as simple as one lousy month of finances. And we have all been through something like that, where sickness can make us quit our job or we or it gets us fired because our bosses don't understand. Mental uh, illness, obviously, is not very well understood right now sometimes you have to escape a bad marriage um, and sometimes you overspend more than what you get on your check so it happens it has happened to me so for a lot of people that can actually cause homelessness you know but either way they are suffering in their life that's one thing just like a regular spoonie they are suffering in their own way. Thus, I believe they should be categorized into the Spoonie Nation because you never know what someone is experiencing at all. Like, we, we're we Spoonies, we have seen it, like sometimes people, they don't understand what we're, what we're going through or we don't understand what others are going through because we have never been in that situation. So, when it comes to homelessness, we've never been in that type of situation, so we don't really understand because can you imagine this, that you have to think about having the energy, do not know where your next meal, clean outfit, heat for the night, or even where your next bottle of water may come from, that must bring an enormous amount of stress. And when you're in that amount of stress, no matter what, you're just thinking about survival. Literally, you go to like, I just got to survive the day and the night because you're going to be harassed. If you're homeless or you're living in the streets or, or, or you're having a bad situation, you're thinking about your survival. You're not thinking about like, oh, how am I going to get a next, my next job? Or what do I have to do at work or anything like that? Oh, I have to pay my bills, my rent. No, you're going to have to think about your survival that's pretty much what what's going to happen and and that causes a lot of stress because you don't know where where you're going to get your clean clothes you you don't know if you're going to be able to get a bed in the shelter you know like there's so many things that are going to stress you and this can cause a spiral so deep that some people may never recover so people on the street right now in front of our eyes are living as spoonies but what are we doing to help them too? Because there are spoonies one way or another. You never know what they're going through, you know, like I just exp like I just mentioned. So if they're going through something that could be out of their control or 
some kind of, of chronic illness and they never got the right diagnosis, that can actually put you down the spiral. And I had never thought about it until it was right in my face. Because I have my own story that I have shared about being depressed for 10 years and finally receiving a diagnosis. But while helping these people in need, it brought light to my situation. I knew then that the word spoonie means more than just someone having a chronic illness. Which is true. In my mind, it's true. So... My joy and passion are changing the world and lives of, of one spoonie at a time. Whether it may be a chronically ill person or someone living on the street with a mental illness. Or a reason that was out of their control. Because there's so many reasons that could put you on the streets. You know, even your family kicking you out, that's, that's a, a reason. Now... I hope that you will join me in redefining the role of a spoonie in your life. The next time you see a homeless person, maybe think to yourself, I wonder what brought them to this point in their life. Because help is out there. And we can help too since donations can be given to charity groups out there. And I will highly recommend donating a few hours of your time obviously if you can or give my monetary donation if possible or find your own way to give back that makes you comfortable because a lot of people don't like to give money because you don't know if it's gonna go directly to the people or anything like that but you can just buy something you know like in this case make sanitation kits and take it to the shelter and give it to the woman or or you know like Buy a pair, uh, a couple of socks, and give it to people that need it in the shelter. You know, so you can do little things like that. You don't, you don't have to be big. You don't have to go big, but because when you think of others and their struggles, remember, yours might not be so bad. You may not be able to get out of bed because of pain or a chronic illness, but remember to be grateful for the bed you have to come. You have to come home to. You know, at least we, a lot of us, have a bed where we can just lay back if we're if we're having a flare or a bad day. But a lot of people, like people living in the streets, don't have that, and they might be having chronic pain. So, can you imagine living in the streets, not having a comfortable bed, and then still having to deal with the chronic pain? That's that's pretty much in my mind, unimaginable, because I've never been in that situation, but if I was in that situation, I would be suffering, literally. So, welcome other Spoonies to the Spoonie Nation, unite them, invite them, and endure. You got this. We can do this together. We can do this together because we know what it's like to be suffering and not being understood. And that's why a lot of people like living in shelters or in the streets are going to, you know, when you lose your home you and you lose everything. The same thing can happen to a spoonie. You can lose your your job. You can lose your your home because obviously you're not able to pay it, pay it anymore. Like I've seen it so many times where one spouse gets sick. I mean, it even happened to us, to me and my wife. So I understand where, 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 ha, why sometimes things like that happen. So um, in this situation, we, we need to include more people into the Spoonie community because everybody that is suffering, no matter what it is, should be considered a Spoonie because if you're stressed, stress causes inflammation. Inflammation causes pain and then it can get out of control and cause other issues. So... That's that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys are having a, a good time with the podcast. I really, really enjoy your your feedback and all the support that we, the support that we've been receiving. I really appreciate that. 
but don't forget to share like and subscribe so we can grow especially right now because we keep growing we keep we keep getting more listeners which is amazing it's all thanks to you guys and don't forget to follow us on tiktok instagram facebook and youtube and if you want to share your story and you want to do it anonymously you can send it to me at the spoonie and caregiver life at gmail.com or you can actually post it on the facebook community and I leave you like always. Always take care of yourself and have a great day.